Well, hey guys, welcome to this video and um, happy July 4th. Yeah, I am recording this super late or super early, actually. It's like it's 1.02 in the morning right now. I should be in bed, but I stayed up editing a little bit. So I, uh, I did, I had nothing else to put on this week and uh, I, I missed last week uploading. So I figured I'd do something and sometimes I do videos on just, you know, something I passionately want to just get off my chest and talk about. So yeah. That's what this video is for. I know it's going to get a probably a mixed range of comments and uh, critiques, which is totally fine. I've been on YouTube for eight years, so it's nothing new to me. I've seen the worst of the worst of YouTube comment sections, Facebook comment sections, Instagram comment sections, and I'm not really swayed anymore by people's online critique. It's just I'm used to it by now. So all the opinions I'm about to spew are my own and all the beliefs I, I'm about to I am about to put out they're they're all from me I'm, no one's making me do this I am not you know under uh, a sponsorship where I am obliged to say this or anything like that I, I think this this video is going to get a mixed range of feedback so just brace yourselves with me I think this would serve as a good way to celebrate hitting 500 subscribers minus one. I, we're still at 499, which hopefully we hit 500 subscribers with this video. So hope for that. So anyways, I've been really busy lately. Uh, that's why I didn't upload this last week. I was actually on set. And it's funny because at the the end of this last year that we just had, I said I have a feeling that you know things are going to be you know different this year. That something is going to happen that's going to be amazing I, I i described it in my uh rewind video of 2023 and oh my goodness guys god has been so good he gave me my first two yeses this year as far as acting goes and it's just been such a blessing last week i was on set in pittsburgh it was a great time great time to you know work with uh, some awesome people and not only work behind the camera but in front of the camera as well it was really cool as my first technically official paid acting gig so Praise God for that and uh, just his continuation of moving me forward in this industry. And I, I love seeing that. And as far as the other yes, uh, I, I, I'll, I'll hold off on that for now. If you want to know about the other yes, though, you can go to my Instagram page. Follow The Chosen Ones on Facebook and Instagram. The Chosen Ones TV. Trust me. Tr trust me. You, you'll, you'll see. Yeah, so I, I've been busy and I figured I'd come up with something to post about this week. So back when I was in Pittsburgh last week, I actually, for the first time in a long time, I turned on CNN. I know, don't hate me. It was just to watch the debate. I, I watched the, the like the last hour or so of it. There's been a lot of mixed comments and different things said about what happened at the 2024 debate, the first presidential debate that happened. And honestly, I'm not really swayed by it. I mean, I, I've said this for a long time and uh, it, I've stood with Trump since he ran for office in 2016. And this debate, it didn't really change that for me. I'm just gonna lay that right out. Cause uh, you know, yes, it seems like two old men are yelling at each other on stage, but Trump wasn't yelling in the debate, for one thing. He was talking very patiently, in my opinion, uh, and it does not go nearly as hard as his debates he's had in the past with Hillary Clinton. Those are like record-breaking, in my opinion, and those go a lot harder than these debates he's having with a senile old man with dementia, which is not Trump's fault for that happening and that being on TV for the world to see. Trump did not choose his political opponent. I don't know. I just like, I don't know why people are complaining on that front. But anyways, during this debate, it's like Trump was very patient, not only with his opponent, but with the CNN moderators. And surprisingly, I, I can't believe CNN like actually, you know, 
acted this way on TV, but they were very patient with Trump as well. It was really, really interesting and weird to see. So it's a very mixed preferences for who most people would choose as the presidential candidate. Because I know that the choice for Biden is like down below, lower than the floor. And, you know, there's Trump right here. So it's half split. Some people are looking for any other candidate besides Trump because they know they can't go for Biden, but they're looking for another candidate besides Trump. And half are still, you know, has, have Trump as their candidate. And I'm just like, okay, let's look at this real quick. Why are they, why are they looking for another candidate besides Trump? Most people, um, you know, uh, that I keep hearing um, from and keep like seeing their um, take on the debate, like, oh, is this what we're stuck with? Is this what we're gonna have to deal with now? Is this the fate of our country? Honestly, it wasn't that bad, people. I mean, <laughs> anyways. So I think I'm getting a little off topic here, but these are the reasons why I am supporting Trump in this next election. One, he's shown me that he knows how to run this country and that he can get the job done. Two, what he says, he means it and he, he he does what he says he's a man of his word and you know he says he's gonna do something and he does it that is that has been very evident in the last you know not the last in the four years that he was president of the united states and you know people complain about the way he talks all the time how he's like smack talking and doing mean tweets and honestly that i don't see what the problem is there the kind of attitude that he's upheld it's really you know secured our country it secured our country the four years that he was in office it got our enemies to not screw with us people say oh he almost got us in the wars he almost did this he almost did this with what he said he shouldn't have said that he ended up making this happen well we got into no wars with him as president in fact he brought peace in several nations and he was the only president in history to ever step across the dmz in north korea i think i got that info correct because you know, I've seen like Bill Clinton and Obama, they, 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 were, they were looking from a distance. And Trump, he, he did the impossible and he stepped over the DMZ and he brought peace instead of war. Everyone said he was gonna bring war to this country, but the exact opposite happened. And you know, a lot of people just fell for the stirrup that the media causes, and they, they usually cause a stirrup. They're the media. Trump did so much for this country in four years, more than what's been done in the last 50 years. And in these last four years that we've had, we've seen the exact opposite. And you know, at this point, it should be an obvious choice who, who the choice for president should be. I mean, I, some people are saying, you know, oh, let's get RFK in office. RFK is a better option than Trump. Maybe RFK could win the election. Maybe he would be a good president. But honestly, I'm still with Trump because I know he can get the job done. Maybe it'd be cool if Trump and RFK could run together. I don't know. but. I, I, I know I, I'm, I'm rambling here, but Trump also shut down more human traffickers than any president I know of. And that is something that I highly, highly respect and love the man for is his care for the children, the defenseless, the innocent ones, even before they're born. We'd like to see abortion shut down, but you know, there's only so much, you know, we as a people can do against this um, big, big problem that affects everyone. All these women that are lied to saying that they should abort their baby in the womb because it's better for them it's better for their health it's better for their job and some people just don't see the truth that every life is precious and that there are people who are willing to help you people who are willing to help you take care of this child people who are willing to adopt your child and it's just like abortion is a huge mess in this country and trump has defended the sanctity of life more than any president i know of and i think it's awesome the way he set up the supreme court before he left office he got on enough Supreme Court justices that helped in the overturning of Roe v. Wade. So that's awesome. We had the lowest unemployment under Trump. He brought back tons and tons and tons of jobs. And when Biden took office, all that went down the drain. He shut down pipelines. He shut down a ton of jobs for people. And he's saying we have like such a booming economy, Biden. Oh, his brain's not working very well. It's so funny, the lies that are just constantly being put out by um, the administration that is supposedly running the country i'll try not to get into too many conspiracies although my opinion about that hasn't changed either i know that the powers that be are doing everything they can to run against this man who is uh you know trying to help save our country but anyways i'm getting off topic trump lowered the unemployment rate like never before for for 
everyone. You know, black unemployment reached an all time low in like over 50 years when Trump was in office. Trump secured our borders like no other president I know of. He stopped tons of drugs flowing in, tons of crime flowing in from illegal aliens hopping over the border. He stopped a ton of problems at our border. And, you know, it just shows, you know, the strength that he brought back to our country. And that is another reason why I am supporting him, because I believe in that. I believe in law and order and supporting our border and making it stronger than ever. I think uh, Trump handled foreign affairs very well. He made sure that other countries weren't screwing around with us. And the way, just his attitude, it, it, it kept our country safe. And he, he plays like a, he, he plays like a fighter. And you may not like the man for the way he talks or the way he acts, but he kept our country safe. So I can't really argue with that. When you're at war with people constantly who are tearing at you, people who used to be a friend of yours and just now they're, 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 they're scratching at you, they're, they're clawing at your throat, they're saying yeah, 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 a bunch of random stuff like you know Hollywood. There's a lot of people in Hollywood that used to be friends with Trump. There's a lot of people in government that used to be friends with Trump. There's a lot of people in media that used to be friends with Trump. And like the moment he ran for president, they all turned against him. Uh, the devil did not like him doing that and <laughs> actually winning the White House back in 2016. So these are just you know my thoughts floating around. And I know he's not a perfect man. There's no man who's perfect. Yeshua said, no man is good, only the Father in heaven. And we've seen in the past how leaders may not be perfect, but there's leaders that honor you know, individual liberty and there's leaders that um, upheld our freedom to worship and our freedom to you know, just live life as human beings. There were pagan kings in ancient times who stood up for Israel's rights. You may not have a perfect leader there is no perfect leader on this earth except Yeshua HaMashiach, who, you know, will reign forever. He will reign forever in the end. But I believe Trump has the gall and the stamina to be a leader, and I think he needs another four years in office. Our country is, you know, bleeding at the seams, and I firmly believe that he is the right choice for office right now. Sure, yeah, he's in his 70s. But guys, if, I, if I'm completely honest, um, I don't care how old the candidate is. I don't consider that a factor. What I do care about is if they have the skills mentally and physically to lead. Joe Biden does not, given he's older. And yeah, they're both old, but Trump can still think and talk like a human being. He has the skills to run this country. He has the, the physical needs to run this country. Joe Biden does not. That's the difference. I don't care how old the person is. If they have the mental and physical capacity to operate, to do basic things, to lead, and they uphold the Constitution and uphold our, our rights as Americans and our, our rights to worship God freely, yeah, I'm with them. I'm not a Republican, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm not with any of the parties. I know that the Democrats, they're they become a party of demons. That's what they become. Republicans have become a party where there's no balls. I said that on camera. But anyways, I'm not associated with any party. I'm a patriot, but first and foremost, I'm a follower of Christ. And any person who upholds the right to be a follower of Christ and the right to worship God freely, any person who supports God-fearing Americans, yeah, I'm voting for them. Anyone who supports the sanctity of life, I'm voting for them. But yeah, bottom line, I believe he's the leader this country still needs. And... He should have won four years ago. In fact, I believe he did win, but I won't get into that because YouTube will probably take this video down. If I say certain words, YouTube will probably take this video off, like uh, E-L-E-C-T-I-O-N space F-R-A-U-D. Yeah, I won't get into that. And you know, the, the, the certain day in January of that year, there's a lot messed up there too. From what I've seen guys, everything is working against this man to keep him out of office. Every evil force you can think of, every despicable thing you can think of and including this you know most recent trial thing which he was just acquitted of no he was granted immunity it's so obvious this was set up I, I mean it's so oh it's so shocking what people will believe when they watch the news when they watch the media and when they listen to their narrative it is shocking and you know once you detox from the media and see it all going on it'll blow your mind. 
we threw TV out a long time ago and we are better for it. It's partly why I am in this industry is to create films and um, entertainment that is giving an alternative to the current media. And I'm looking to provide, you know, films that, you know, put out a message of hope and films with a Christ-centered theme. I've said it before, the media is the enemy of the people. Do not believe them. They lie through their teeth every day. And they are the reason why half our country is messed up. More than half our country, I think. We've all had, you know, this downloading of information from the media for a long time, most of us since we were born. And it's just, you know, deeply rooted and you just have to detox from it. You have to shut it out as much as you can. Research the truth for yourself. Don't, 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 don't take someone else's word for it. I maybe don't even take my word for it, okay? I'm just explaining what I've experienced and what my opinions are. I encourage you guys to search out the truth for yourself, pray about it, and you know, just dig deeper. Dig deeper than the surface. Dig deeper than the, the articles that pop up in your Google feed. Because most of the time Google lies to you. They're another media outlet. But anyways, happy 4th of July and God bless America. I, I'm really, really hoping that we will see a huge revival in this country before it's too late. I really hope that people will come to the cross. People will come to Yeshua and repent, confess their sins to him and put their trust in him and receive salvation. I, I pray that happens in mass numbers in this country, that we have a Jesus revolution again. It's not impossible. And you know, we're not on God's calendar. The end times could take another hundred years for all we know. I know things are happening now you know, like, you know, rivers drying up and stuff like that and just wars happening. People are constantly, you know, at war with the truth, things like that. Um, but guys, we don't have a certain timeline for that. Everything is, you know, could be spread out for all we know over a hundred years. We don't know when, you know, the time will come. Like it says in, in the Bible, like no man knows the time or the hour that the Son of Man will return. He'll come like a thief in the night. So guys, just work for a better tomorrow. Pray for our country, pray for you know your fellow man, pray for everyone, pray for every American, pray for the world. Pray for those in power who still support liberty, who still support the freedom to worship our God in heaven. Pray for those who still support our constitution. Because that's the real law of our land. The real law of our land is the Bible, not what governments make up over 200 years to control us. If I'm called a Christian nationalist for saying that, so be it, but anyways. Happy 4th of July. God bless America. Trump 2024. God bless and thank you for watching.